let's see what's on Netflix for the seventh day in a row. This is the life. Six hours later. <laughs> Naive Janine. Little did you know that this quarantine would last over a month and that this would become old very fast. <laughs> what a time to be alive. Am I right or am I right? Hello, you guys. It's Janine Amapola and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, it's been a minute since I've been on here, I know. Let's talk about what really matters. Coronavirus, COVID-19. Holy crap, you guys. Never in my life did I think I would experience something like this, like an epidemic, pandemic, catastrophe globally. It's crazy. I remember watching this movie back in the day called Quarantine and being like, <laughs> thinking at the time like, this is crazy. That would never happen to us. Well, here we are today in 2020, starting the year off right. Yes. I know we're all in this together and I've had people come to me be like, Janine, what do I do during this time? I'm so bored. And I feel you, I feel you. But there's hope you guys. There really, really is hope. And I have a list, a lot of things that we can all do during this quarantine time. We have about a month of quarantine left, but it may go longer, we just don't know. So the point of the quarantine is to stay home. In California, currently the rules are we can only go to the doctor, grocery store, bank, like essential things. You're allowed to go on a walk, a bike ride, a hike. You're allowed to be outside, but you have to stay six feet apart from people. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to make the best of this quarantine time. Now, I really do believe this is a time for all of us to grow, to develop, and to stay hopeful. I know it's scary, but y'all keep your trust in God. He's got you. Stay prayerful and hopeful. And in the meantime, you can try out these things. That was not the right page, but whatever. In the meantime, you can try these things I recommend and try to make the best of this quarantine. Wow. Never thought that'd be a video title. Let's just get right into it. Okay, you guys, my first recommendation is deep cleaning your house. So when I have a clean house, it makes me in such a better mood. Plus with the coronavirus, it's better to have your house nice and clean and sanitized right now. But maybe there's been something you've put off, you really need to clean for a while. Now is the time to do that. And I also think if you're gonna be at home anyway all day, it will just make you so much happier and put you in a better mood if your home is clean. So definitely try this one out. got some free time you might as well write some people letters because letters are a dying thing and I think that's really sad write some people in your life how thankful you are for them and send them a letter and they won't expect it but I can guarantee you it'll make their day so writing letters is like a dying art unfortunately but I feel like this is a really special time to write a letter that's really meaningful to someone you really love or care about and I feel like they would really appreciate getting this so this is something to try out for sure to make some spare cash why not go through your closet and look at the items that you've hardly used and sell it on Poshmark so also this is a really good time to kind of go through all the things that you don't use anymore that could help someone else maybe in this time of need so I actually sell my clothing and sell my stuff on Poshmark and 100% of the profits go towards people in need so feel free to check out my Poshmark down below and now you sell it super easy get that cash from home I got you Okay. 
Okay, just FYI, any clip that has red nail polish means it's old. But anyway, I personally love reading books and I feel like I just don't have time to read all the books I want to read. But now I feel like I have so much more time. So I've been picking back up my old books and I've been able to read again. And maybe you want to read again and you don't know which ones to read. I have an Instagram post for you guys where you can find all my suggestions and everything. But I feel like this is just a really great way to spend your time and learn a lot of new things. As we all know, TikTok is a big thing now, and if you wanted to learn to dance or make some TikToks, now's your time. It's actually really fun, you guys. Oh! I did it! Okay, wait, one more time. Oh my gosh, I still messed up. I'm too old for this. Why can I not get this? Y'all, I'm old, and my neighbors are totally watching me do this. <laughs> oh how I wish I could go to the beach again but this footage is old but anyway you guys I have been using this time to really press into the Lord more I've had more free time so I've been able to read more pray more journal more and I really encourage you guys to do that because in the midst of this chaos and the anxiety this is your peace and your hope and this is essential to my walk with Christ so I really encourage you guys to try and read more even read a chapter a day and see how it transforms your life so I don't know about y'all but I have loved playing piano and guitar since I was little and I suck at it because I never practiced and now we have so much free time so I'm using this time to learn piano again so if you have an instrument lying around hopefully you'll pick it back up and learn so I got really bored one day bought myself a piano and I thought let's make the best of this time and learn I'm not that good but that's why we're here to learn With the gyms being closed, I know I cry, and really anything that's like outdoor activities, it's really important to still stay active in the midst of this. Um, I did create an entire hour-long workout if you guys want to try this out. It's on my YouTube channel, and I have a link down below for you guys, but I really think it's just important to still work out and stay active and not just lounge around, and there's so many videos on YouTube you guys can watch. I follow some as well, and I do my own, so make sure you're still staying active at least once a day. Okay, so we're all stuck at home anyways. We might as well learn a recipe or two. So I wanna learn how to make some bomb overnight oats. So I got nothing better to do with my time. I'm kidding, it's fine, seriously. So I literally eat the same thing like almost every day, but it's actually been really cool because I've been trying a bunch of new recipes. So I encourage you guys to try this as well. Strawberries. A banana. This has like chia seeds, protein powder, flax seeds, and you can't have overnight oats without oats. So basically, yeah, you just throw this in the refrigerator and leave it overnight and you eat it in the morning and it was so good the next day. And voila, you are now a chef. Kind of. <laughs> My next tip is FaceTime your friends because everybody needs it right now and this whole social distancing thing makes it 10 times harder. So call some people, really get to know them, ask them good questions and, and really bond with them during this time because we all out here struggling. Wait, really? Oh my gosh. Are you having fun? Hi. Yeah, me on my run the other day, I'm like, hi, hey, hi from afar, don't touch me. <laughs> You cute, but get away from me. <laughs> I love you. All right, love you too. Have a good one. Love you. So I think it's very important to take care of our mental health during this time, and I find that 
self-care things definitely help me during this so whether that's like putting on a mask whitening my teeth giving myself a manicure and just kind of like journaling it's really good for me just to kind of like decompress and everything so try this out and take care of yourself So I know this quarantine time isn't fun, but if you can get outside a little bit, keep your distance from people safely, then get outside. I really recommend it. Even just getting outside when I've been working inside all day, getting a breath of fresh air is so, so nice. So if you guys can do it in a healthy, safe way, go take a walk. It's good for your soul. If you're gonna sit at home and watch Netflix, then I recommend at least learning a language in the process. There's a really good app that you can use called Duolingo, not sponsored. I've used this for over a year to learn languages and it's a really good one. There's so many free resources on YouTube that you should definitely utilize. Listening to it, watching it, reading it, the best way to learn a language. Even if you're watching Netflix, put your subtitles in a different language and try learning that way. <laughs> to be honest, I find this time to be a really important, crucial time to really think about what really matters in life and areas that I'm struggling in and you know, where am I putting my hope in and where are their idols and where are my priorities wrong. So I really use this time just to journal through that and to self-reflect and look at my goals again and what really matters in life and just be honest with myself and the Lord through journaling and I think it's a really healthy thing mentally for you to do. Really use this time to reflect and think of areas where you can have self-growth and really just can take care of your heart and your mental health and I really think journaling is very very good for that. So we're all sitting at home anyway pretty bored right? So I used to be a dancer and I miss dancing so I'm going to take this time to try and learn a dance routine. So another thing you guys can try is learning a new skill, whether that's cheerleading, dancing, hip hop, ballet. There's so many things you guys can try to learn on the internet. Good thing I have a month to learn that because it's gonna take some time. Another thing I recommend is listening a podcast. You can learn so much from podcasts. I'll have my favorite ones linked down below. And as I go for my walk today by myself, um, I'm gonna listen to a podcast. So check out the ones I recommend down below. I feel like on this quarantine time, I'm really trying to learn as much as I can. And podcasts have so much information. And I feel like they're just so fun to listen to. So definitely try listening to podcasts if you're bored. So this quarantine has for sure made me more unmotivated in a lot of areas. So something that I've been still doing is getting ready for the day. That's like putting on makeup, still like acting like I'm gonna go out of the house. And I find that it's a really good way to still be motivated and act like you're still like leaving the house. You know what I mean? And something that's really helped me enjoy being home is having my home be clean and cozy. So lighting a candle, getting my blankies, and when I do decide to binge, keeping it nice and cozy for me. So this is me yelling at old episodes of The Bachelor. <laughs> that's irrelevant, but yeah, keep your home cozy. And last but not least, I would recommend just staying positive throughout this. We do have about a month left and I know it's hard. I live alone and it's been really difficult for me, but I just think if we all do our part and we all try to flatten the curve, the sooner this will go away. Just also use this time to be grateful for the little things in life. Like I will never take for granted just walking on the beach, watching a sunset, time with my friends and my family, like hugs, being able to go to the grocery store without being paranoid about this. Like there's so many things that I took for granted and I will never do that again. And so just be grateful and appreciative of life and the little things. And hopefully this video helps you guys out. 
Well, friends and family, boys and girls, those are my ideas and tips for you during this quarantine. So I know that they may not be the most exciting, but you guys, we really have to make the best with what we got. Like when you're stuck at home for these next couple weeks, just try to use it to the best of your ability and really take advantage of this time. Because often I feel like a lot of us are sitting around being like, I wish I had more time to slide and do the things I've always wanted to do. And I feel like this is a chance. So let's just really try to make the best of it. Let me know what you're gonna try from this video or let me know what you've been doing during your quarantine. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to entertain yourself with social media, then feel free to check out my TikTok, my vlog channel, and my Instagram. Those are all linked down below for you, and they're all Janina Mapola. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helped you out during this weird, weird time in our lives, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace out, Girl Scout.